what I wanted to show you some different structures in trees. Trees grow in many different forms. Particularly important are how these trees do grow and why it's important for us to evaluate tree structure. During storms, as we all know, we've seen a lot of branches breaking, a lot of trees falling apart. Well, that can be directly related back to a defect in the support system. So what we want to look at are these different types of trees and different forms to be able to maybe shed some light onto why you might experience these, these breakage. This is a very large red maple. This has a double trunk. They're actually two separate systems. What you can see here, this is the union at the trunk of these two separate systems. And if you look up, you can see that they do have to support quite a canopy. Even though that this crotch is a very strong crotch and, and the wood fibers are intertwined with each other, we've elected to cable the tree. Because of its size, this tree is going to support quite a heavy load because of its heavy leaf and branches and because of the actual stem of the tree has to support a heavy load. So what we'd experience, if we were ever to experience some sort of a, a stress or pressure on this system, it wouldn't be at the crotch in this particular instance. It would be up further in the branches themselves or breaking at the stem. So what we've elected to do is actually cable this tree together with the artificial cable to support these two stems. You can see uh, this pine tree is a very large white pine tree. This particular uh, branch, leader, that grows out of the trunk, you can see it has a U formation. And in this particular situation, this is a very, very strong union. Even though it is a pine, these uh, particular types of, of uh, crotches do not uh, usually break. As you look to see the other large branches, these are all very, very strong unions. These crotches are U crotches, those cells are intertwined, and all these crotches are very strong. This particular tree is a large ash tree. As we look at this crotch, this also did have a very nice U crotch. However, as you can see, there is some decay starting within that crotch. This would be a very very concerning because now the decay will lead to future deterioration of this support system. The decay does not exist as a result of the crotch. The decay exists as a result of a fungus infestation. As you can see, we'll move around the other side of the tree and we can show you some of the other indications. We've walked out of the other side of the tree. Obviously, a tree uh, uh, from one side of the tree to the other side of the tree, we find a completely different scenario. Here we have a very large area that is decayed. That decay uh, actually extends up the trunk of the tree and into the leader itself. This is a very concerning situation where the actual ash tree uh, has such a large canopy that this could split apart. As we follow this decay column down, what you'll find is you have large bracket fungi. This is, this is an indicator that you can all use that something is wrong with the tree. The bracket fungi actually thrives in decayed wood. When you see the bracket fungi you know that you have a problem within the, the wood structure, that that wood is beginning to decay. And as you can see here, this wood and the bark is coming off. This was from a fungus infection in the root system that led to the decay of the wood that eventually migrated into the crotch. Even though this tree its original support system was a very strong system. Because of the decay, 
the fungus infestation now has created a situation by which this tree has become a hazard and obviously we'll have to take the tree down, reduce the canopy. Uh, this, cave, this, this tree is probably too far gone to do any artificial support system. So my recommendation actually would be removal, unfortunately. Very large white pine. This tree happens to be, uh, it's probably 140, 150 years old. This tree has been subjected to many weather events, storms, a lot of branches have broken. However, because it's growing in such a rich environment, this is old farmland, it has a very, very large uh, leaf canopy. It, has, it, it, it is a great survivor of, of the elements. When we look at the trunk, what we can find is that, that there is a very large hole in the trunk. That hole, even though that it, it's, it's concerning, when we were talking about decay, we talk about branch structure, we talk about trunk structure. Because this tree does not have a target, first of all, the only target that is here might be the road. Its lean is toward the field. I'm not so concerned about it because it is an ancient tree. It's worthy of leaving as long as possible. However, this, to talk about the wound it was a very, very large branch that broke from the tree, created the wound, and then the wound spread into the heart of the tree. But because this tree, we're not working with an actual crotch of a tree, we're not working with a branch that could fail. This is in the trunk of the tree. The cylinder, or the round area, once that round area, if that round area stays intact, it's still a very strong structure. It might be prone to a twist, but because what the tree is so healthy and it's able to grow new wood every year, it's able to continue to grow despite having that decay. It's continuing to grow new wood so it does not break that obviously would be the weak link in any type of a major weather event. So the key here, even though that the tree has a decay, it might have a potential hazard, the key here is that we've evaluated the tree, that it doesn't have a target. It's a valuable tree in the landscape. We're willing to take the chance. However, we're keeping the tree healthy because of its environment. It's able to stay healthy to help combat any type of structural defects that it might have. We're talking about the differences in the different structure of, uh, of trees. And we have the V-crotch and the U-crotch. We were talking about the V-crotch is a weak crotch, the U-crotch is a strong crotch. This particular tree is a white pine. This is a V-crotch. You can see this ridge here extends down into the trunk of the tree. On the right side, this particular stem is only holding from this area to this area. You can see that it's a very short distance. The, the larger trunk actually is a much stronger trunk that has a much wider union. But the actual union between the two is in the form of a V. That V, those cells that connect the two, are in parallel. When you, I'm sure you've all taken pine wood and split it, and it, when you take a hatchet to the pine wood, especially on, on clear wood, it splits very quickly. That's because the cells are lined in parallel. The next tree actually is a, a cherry tree. You can see the union is a U. That's a very strong crotch, very strong architecture, very strong, very strong structure, much weaker structure in the white pine. And that's why you see in storms, certain trees will just all, all of a sudden split apart. It's usually the case, nine times out of 10, it's a V crotch. We can identify these particular 
defects in these trees. We can actually show you and make plans to either remove those trees. Important trees can be cabled. We can support that system to prevent any future damage to the tree, to the branch, to the system. White pine tree, V crotch. You can see here the branch bark ridge. This ridge extends down into the trunk. Very small area of attachment to the main trunk. This is a much larger area. Sometimes these are equal. However, this particular union is weak because of the parallel cells. As they grow, they are in parallel. In the U crotch, they would be intertwined. So this becomes a concern. On its own, this tree will be fine. Really, nothing needs to be done with it. It's fairly small. However, if it was standing out on its own, that had a target, then we would want to probably cable it to help support this structure.